cause and effect. You'll be able to tell about cause and effect and identify cause and effect relationship. The cause is the event. It is why something happens. The effect is the result. It's what happens because of something else. This means the cause will come first and the effect will happen after a second. For example, I got wet after getting caught in the rain. In this sentence, the rain came down first, which was the cause, and I got wet as a result, and that is the effect. Here's another. The sun shone on my flower and it grew. In the sentence, the sun shone on the flower first, which makes it the cause, and as a result, the flower grew, which makes it the effect. Let's try it in sentences now. This sentence says, Jane slipped and fell. Now what is the cause? Which event happened first? Jane slipped or she fell? That's right, Jane slipped first, so that is the cause. Let's try another. This sentence says, Sam got sick after standing in the rain. What is the cause? Which event happened first? Sam got sick or Sam was standing in the rain? That's right, Sam was standing in the rain first. That's what caused him to get sick. Here's another. This sentence says, Caleb studied hard and got an A. What is the effect? What happened as a result of something else? Caleb studying hard or Caleb getting an A? Yes, the effect was Caleb getting an A. He only got an A because he studied. Here's another. I drank some water because I was thirsty. Which is the effect? Which is the result of something else? If you said I drank some water is the effect, you're correct. I drank some water as a result of being thirsty. So remember, the cause is the event. It tells what happens first and why something is happening. And the effect is the result. It is the second thing that happens. And it happens because of something else.